Hello, boys and girls. That's what rich. That I haven't. Heard, I have. You did that, right? You say boys and girls, right? Guys and girls. Okay, oh, guys and girls, something like that. Guys and girls. So it's very, very informal. I, I, I was reminded. Now I am in a campus club. We usually just say ladies and gentlemen. It's so boring, right? This is Taida. And another thing is, I actually I was in Taida some, some 30, 40 years ago. That was my first encounter with Toastmaster. I was just like you sitting there. I was watching these people, wow, they are so brilliant. There's no way I can ever be like that. So many years back, I'm here now. So what I, I will try, there's only, before I even start, I would like to encourage all of you to speak for the officers. Please, please, uh, give every opportunity because you have weekly meetings, right? So try to make a marathon or something. Just, just try to make everybody come here to speak. You are here, you're listening, and that's exactly some 34 years ago I was here. I was living. This beautiful show out there is smoke and mirrors, but it has nothing to do with me. I'm a bystander. The only way to learn is to come here to, to look at the horrible eyes staring at you. And that is the play. That is when you start to grow, really. And also, um, I just have to say this. I. I've been to many clubs, clubs, campus clubs. Taida is the one that, that impressed me the most. You know why? Because it's not because you're Taida. It's because the attitude you're having. And no wonder you're in Taida. The attitude is so diligent. I couldn't believe it. You know, when you see the table topic, people will just, oh, yeah, yeah, just choose me. Th this is, you don't see that in any other clubs here. You have a new members, of about almost 30 new members. Unbelievable. You go to other campus club, you really have to back them. Please, please, would you like to consider? Because over two or three thousand and two dollars is a lot of money. So that is very good. You're highly motivated. Uh, the only thing I would like to say is please, to all the officers, please try to engage as many people as possible. Not to stick to, to someone who always volunteers, because otherwise you'll be the only two of you will be progressing and the all the rest will be there, standing there. And also, there can be only one, you can only play one role at a time. You cannot be the speaker and you also be the Toastmaster. I know it's at the last minute, you couldn't. Now, I would like to say something about Rich. Uh, is that you, right? Yeah, you said, you know, the, the whole thing, I'm supposed to talk about languages, I just want to say something he said so beautifully that really touched my heart. He was saying, but if you can say it slowly, it has much more weight. You will say, I am peaceful. I like peace and harmony. I do not like violence or chaos. That's beautiful. You know, you have two parallel. It's very, very, very powerful. And there's another thing is also never. You know, you, you say you are, you, you are a single child. You really treasure all the relationships. You talk about somehow I listened to your first relationship didn't go very well almost kill you, and you have the second relationship. This is very emotional. You're building up the people waiting to hear that. You say there's something very, very important, but you should say it very slowly so we can hear. So when I should never give her the reason to go away. How about that? You should say it very slowly, and you really touch the people, right? You say, never, 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 and people will not get it. So hopefully, so I will say, just slow down. The English word is so powerful. For instance, you say, I'm the guy I like, I don't like, I like peace and harmony. Never violence or chaos. I will never give my girlfriend a reason to go away from me. Wow, all the ladies, they're going to melt, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you, and that is power of words. The way you say it, it's not how many things you say, it, it's only the few things that you say. With, and, and another thing, Tony, I love your thing. You say, super soup. You know, and it is very, very important when you say, you use the words, you use very simple words. Now, for instance, I will always remember, you say, super soup. You always. And, and also, it's so smart. You use the weakness. You know, people say, oh, come on, I will never be able to speak like him. No way, there's no way. I just gave up. But he was started very humbly, saying, 
I was just like you. I cannot even distinguish what is soup and what is salad. So it, it started with a very humble place like you. So and that is a, the way you do a speech. Immediately you, you relate to, this, to, the, to the audience and you bring that up. But, so another thing I would like to say is about Kevin. Kevin, I heard you several speeches. Now Kevin's English is not, get, not that good like me. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because he's from Taiwan. He does, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter for any one of you. Our English, our English is limited. We speak Ch English with Chinese accent or Taiwanese accent. It doesn't matter. It's how you convey that, that it matters. How you convey the message, that matters. So it's really, uh, I heard the st story. It doesn't matter the language. I was deeply touched with it, the challenge. It's the challenge and at the end of the day, your supervisor was saying, you know, it didn't do very well. However, I was deeply touched by the diligence you make and the progress you make. I think that is the message I would like to give it to all of you. You are here, so please take this challenge and make the progress, and please all the officers give them a chance to speak. And, and actually, for instance, I work as an officer in, where is the time? You are not timing me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you, uh, this is not fair, right? You should time every single body, right? That's your job. Okay, thank you for my time. I think I am all way over there. Just, I'm, I just want to repeat. I'm thrilled to be here. I see I'm very excited. I think this is the best club I've ever seen, the campus club. It's not because we are in Taida. It's only because to, why you are in Taida? Because of your diligence. And please sustain that diligence, and you will go very far. And you are competing with yourself. You are not competing with anyone else. So, this challenge as an example. Thank you.